Welcome to another episode of Boom and Bust. I'm your host, Tony Clement, here at the News Forum, where all voices matter. The Canadian Federation of Independent Business is launching an online education program to train businesses on how to improve cybersecurity. Here to discuss is Mandy Dotrema. She is the Vice President of Marketing Partnerships. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. I guess the first question would be, how big a problem are these cyber attacks on Canadian businesses? Well, they are an increasing problem. When we've surveyed our members, um, a majority, 72%, have told us that it's an increasing threat and problem that they're worried about in their business. And we've found that almost half have received random cyber attacks. So these are not attacks that are necessarily targeted specific to that business, but the businesses are receiving um, those threats directly into either their email, calls to their business. Um, but there are um, many businesses too that have received targeted attacks. Um, so almost a third, um, 27% have received ones that are really specific to that business. So it is definitely a threat out there for any size of business. And uh, do you have you uh, do you know how much uh, in terms of the value of uh, sort of lost income or uh, hit on the economy? Is that is that something that uh, you've calculated at all? Well, we have looked at the impact on businesses themselves. 8% of businesses reported that last year, and these are small businesses, small, medium businesses, um, that 8% have um, been the victim of a successful cyber attack. So that means that the cyber criminals were able to break through their defenses and either lock down their business, um, ask for a ransom to reaccess their data. So um, these businesses report a number of different impacts. It could be their operations, their reputation, um, and on average, the cost, including that lost time of business, is around $26,000 for these small and medium businesses, but it's varied. So um, right. many uh, small businesses report much higher costs. We've had conversations with some that um, have lost as much as a million dollars. So this is a, a, a real threat to businesses' bottom lines, and I think one of the really eye-opening elements of on the true impact that cyber attacks can have on small businesses is that um, around 60% of small businesses that are victims of a cyber attack actually close down permanently within six wow. months. So yeah. it's a real risk to that, um, that uh, business that becomes a victim and important for them to know what to do um, if they are attacked, but even more important to prevent becoming a victim. Indeed. Yeah, that's a, that's a big statistic there. Um, you referenced the survey that you've done to your members. So what other findings did uh, your survey um, basically come up with? Sure. So we also looked at the different kinds of, um, of attacks that small businesses could be um, become victims of so that we can better understand where those threats are. And, um, and when it comes to um, the different kinds, one of the, the big risks for small businesses is um, whaling attempts. And what a whaling attempt is, is um, a cyber criminal using um, or trying to target specifically the business owner themselves. So they'll send some kind of communication that looks like it's directly um, supposed to be received by that business owner. And 11% of our members have said that they've received those kinds of attempts. And I think the point here is really that um, cyber criminals are innovating. It is their job to try to break into your business. So when they're doing that, they're going to try to find ways to make their attempts more person personal so that you will fall for, um, for their attempt. And um, those kind of attempts can go to employees, to the owner themselves, and they really just get more and more sophisticated as time goes on. Yeah, so you can build up your walls, but uh, the fact is... Uh... It's a vicious circle. They're finding ways to evade your walls. Yes, absolutely. So it's really important for a business to know how can they actually prevent um, the, the criminals from breaking in. And um, when we look at, um, at how and what is the main point is that 95% of all of cyber attack attempts that are successful, they're successful because of human error. So that means 
businesses actually have a really good opportunity and ability to protect their business if they train themselves as well as their staff um, to know how to identify those um, those threats and not click on that link. Right. Um, it seems a little bit fishy. We're going to get right to what uh, uh, the businesses should be doing. We're going to take a brief break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 